try these new pants on. How's it look, Bella? Yo, yo, Johnny, Johnny, where's your legs? Where do your legs go? Oh, where are the legs? Yo, where's the legs? What up, fellas? It's your boy Johnny, and today we are gonna be talking about them patterns. Why do I feel like I'm about to? Basically, anything that repeats itself the same way is considered a pattern. Stripes, camo, your girlfriend saying no you when trying to pick out a restaurant, gingham, floral, and much more. So how about we just get into this video. First tip when it comes to styling patterns is don't clash them. Bruh, it's like putting gummy bears in your ice cream sundae. You don't do it. Granted, some people do it, you can get away with it, but it's like chewing metal at that point. It is literally the worst thing ever. Now, this is just a general guide to follow. Like I said, you can get away with it. You'll just have to know how to do it. I'll get into this later, but I usually don't do it because I personally prefer simpler outfits nowadays, where it's really not too much that you're overcompensating and it's not too basic, like an Asian person liking boba tea, takes off their shoes in the house, and uses their dishwasher as a dish rack. Um... Yeah, you know, let's just move on. Next up, learn the basics of color theory and color blocking. To keep it plain and simple, this is what I usually roll with, complementary colors. Basically, if I read this right, don't quote me on it. If you mix two complementary colors, the color should come out gray. And I'm gonna do research on this, and if it's right, I'm gonna leave that edit in there. And if it's not, you're probably not gonna see this. So pull up the color wheel, and what you're gonna wanna wear is colors that are opposite sides of the color wheel. Nowadays, on the YouTubes and the Instagrams, you're gonna see a lot of orange and teal. The reason why this color grading is so popular is because those colors complement each other and lead to a very pleasing, beautiful image. Same applies to your outfit, man. Personally, I've been digging these camel pants. You probably can't see them, huh? Okay, okay, I promise I'm not gonna make another invisible joke. Anyways, these camel pants are basically a green pair of pants. There's a ton of colors on it, like tan and brown, but overall, it's green. The opposite of green is red, so naturally, a nice piece to wear is red. So wearing something like this pair of Jordan 1s with a hint of red perfectly complements these pair of pants. Camel isn't really that hard to style, because you can't see them. <laughs> Great job, Johnny. You're so funny, you should be a comedian. Now, it can be a loud print in some cases, but for the most part, they're very simple. And if you guys want a nice pair of camel pants and cargo pants, you guys know my eyes glow up whenever I hear the word cargo. Okay, let's customize this car. Cargo liner? Cargo hook? Now these cargos are from Black Taylor, the sponsor of this video. Now I really like this company because of their great customer service. And I have personally bought from them before. And whenever I had any questions, I contacted them and they got back to me right away. Now they are a streetwear company that focuses on cargos. But I'll be transparent about this. I have seen other people buy cargos from different companies. And they look exactly like the ones I have. So there might be some mutual manufacturer. There's nothing wrong with that. Because they are a fully established company with great customer service, great shipping times. And their website is designed perfectly with good visuals on how it might look on your body, examples of how those pieces can be rocked, because usually other brands will leave you hanging if you have any issues. Not Black Taylor. These cargos are really nice, the design is on point, and the fitment is on point. Camel pants really are something else. Most people think that they're out of style, but with the new modern designs of these military classic pieces, they can look really good on most guys. Now personally, I really like these strap cargos right here, and these nylon cargos right here, where you can adjust the ankle cuff instead of being tied down to these jogger type cuffs. They look super clean, look really great with low top sneakers, so if you guys are looking to cop some cargos, definitely check the links in the description if you want to cop the ones that I got. Anyways, another way to color block is contrasting colors and tones. So to keep it simple, black and white. Let's just say you're wearing a white stripe pattern shirt. Contrast the light color of that striped shirt with some black pants. And the same applies vice versa. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna drop a color blocking video very soon. Now the next tip is to make sure that you are separating those patterns. Now we're gonna dive into mixing patterns a little bit. So it really all depends on the item and the pattern. For the most part, you don't want a crazy pattern as your top and a crazy pattern as your pants. It's a little bit much. So what I like to do is wear pattern items that really don't take up much of your outfit, like your sneakers and your hats. I like these checkered patterns and I will wear them till I die. You can actually get away with wearing this and a flannel. But a flannel with your camel print cargos? Hell no. So last but not least, if you actually do want to mix those patterns more, is contrast the sizing of those patterns. Now women, they're pros at mixing patterns, but for the purpose of this and most guys, let's just keep this part simple. Look at how much the pattern takes up space. What's its density? See this flannel right here? It's pretty dense. There's a lot of pattern in just this tiny little area, and I just got you, man. I got you. If there's a lot of space taken up in this tiny area, I definitely wouldn't recommend mixing with a pattern like floral. So ask yourself, how wide are those stripes? How small or big is that checkered pattern? And if it actually is really dense, again, I'm gonna use this flannel shirt. I could wear a polka dotted shirt if I wanted to, if the dots were spaced out. So just have some self-awareness. Do a quick check in the mirror. If you like it, roll with it. But what do I know, man? I don't know how to dress. If you like the way you look, go rock it, man. Wear what you want. Ugh. Anyways, 
Follow me on Instagram. It is fly with Johnny Ty. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite print is. And until then, stay fly. Make sure you guys check out Black Taylor. And I'm out, bro. Peace.